What is the stupidest way you almost died? Went to go visit a friend in Gloucester Mass in winter back in high school far from my home. I was planning on staying overnight at their house but their mother who I now know has mental health problems wouldn't even let me in the house because the father wasn't home working a night shift. Friend said sorry bro and closed the door. Almost froze to death waiting outside in 10 degree F at night. A cab driver saw me slumped on a bench and woke me up. Let me get warm and drive around in the passenger seat while he picked up drunk people out on the town all night. When he finished his shift he dropped me off at the train station and handed me 7 bucks for the fare. Dude probably saved my life and I can't even remember his name. Every couple of years I hospitalize a college bro dude who is hypothermic. Drunk. And left for dead in a snowbank. Usually by his fellow brothers. A very specific and recurrent scenario. I snorkeled too far out into the ocean. And it wasn't because it was a riptide. I just got distracted by pretty fish. Drove on an interstate during a hurricane and watched all the cars around me get submerged. That must have been terrifying. Stuck my head out the car window BC I wanted to see why dogs loved it. My grandpa didn't notice. Rolled up the window. And I choked. He freaked out when he heard the cat-like noises, ironic, I was making while my neck was trying to squeeze through the small opening of the window. But kept raising the window in his panic. Eventually he got it and I was left with a red mark on my neck and no closer to understanding dogs. Edit, thanks for the awards my grandpa passed earlier this year so it's a nice way to remember him and I know he gets a chuckle to know people found it funny. Edit 2, it was meant to be funny so don't feel bad for laughing. My lil sis was in the seat next to me when this happened and she was laughing too. Funny then. Funny now. Ever see the movie Hereditary? Being sleepy on the road. Don't. Find a spot and sleep a bit. Edit. Thanks people for the award seriously. It happened to me twice. You think you won't fall asleep. But you will. This is absolutely the most terrifying thing to happen. I've dosed off a few times and woke up just before flying off road. Now I make sure if I'm too tired to drive. I immediately pull over on the side of the road. And give myself a few minutes to rest. Or call a friend and ask them to stay on the phone with you to keep you awake. I was at a water park in Texas with one of those super tall. Straight down slides. They had multiple signs saying things like do not push off before sliding down me being an 18 year old idiot and wanting to race my friend. I decided to push off. That extra push started my slow motion. Airborne flight over the slide. I was then staring 100 feet down at concrete and my other friend who had his jaw open. What felt like minutes later. I smacked back down onto the slide and made my way down to the bottom. Thank God for the engineers that planned for suicidal idiots like myself. Isn't this the exact reason some really tall slides start out as a solid tube before opening into a half tube after 15 or so feet? Grown adult and choked on mozzarella cheese. Was only alone for 20 minutes. Can't imagine the obituary. When I was 15. I was so worried about choking to death that I'd cry if I had to be home alone. I walked into a back room freezer of a grocery store. The huge door was designed to close automatically. I knew this and went in and did what I was there to do. After 30 seconds. I couldn't catch my breath. I thought maybe I was just working too hard so I stopped and took several huge breaths. Nothing. I felt like I was drowning out of water. I had to move as quickly as I could back outside of the freezer and feel to my knees gasping when I got out. It was only afterwards I realized for some dumb reason someone kept open dry ice in a cart inside of the freezer. Dry ice removes oxygen out of the air in enclosed spaces. I almost died from lack of oxygen and would have been an icicle when they found me. Don't fuck with dry ice. It was only afterwards I realized for some dumb reason someone kept open dry ice in a cart inside of the freezer. Who was the severely irresponsible dipshit that left open a case of dry ice in an enclosed area? Did someone get fired for that? Because that sounds like something you get fired over. While drunk. I sat down outside. To rest for a moment. On a freezing cold winter's night. Fortunately. A passerby noticed me and encouraged me to get inside. I figure I was probably there dozing for several minutes. My boss's friend died that way last winter. Passed out in the alley behind the bar. Froze to death. Came very close about two inches, to backing into a warehouse rack full of two-ton coils of sheet metal when I didn't realize that my forklift was in reverse. 
I. That'd do it. I was in second or third grade. I was getting off the school bus and was walking around to the other side to my driveway. Suddenly the bus driver hits the horn. Scared the hell out of me and I stopped at the edge of the front of a bus and a dump truck good speeding around. I dunno if the dump truck driver didn't see the lights of the bus or whatever but that driver made a dumb mistake that could have cost me my life. Thinking about it my older sister was up at our driveway waiting for me. Probably would have messed her up for life. After that the school district changed bus routes to avoid students having to cross the road to get on or off the bus. The amount of people I see speed by stopped school buses astounds me. Just watched it happen the other day. 2. Disappointing and baffling. Choked on a lifesaver. Edit, no the hole in the center is not for breathing. Lifesavers have holes in them because the inventor, Clarence Crace wanted to create a unique candy. Back in 1912, 109 years ago, I choked on a lifesaver too. My mom's solution was to pour burning hot water down my throat to try to melt it. I'm Italian but have been living in the UK for two years. Guess who looked at the wrong side of the road while a bus was coming trough? Every time I went back to Italy I risked my life for the same reason by getting used to drive to the left and vice versa. In the US they teach us to look both ways before crossing the street. Finally, we excel in education of at least one topic. Edit, thanks for my first medal, s I know they teach this elsewhere. My comment was in jest. We are all winners here. Almost got my head squashed by a car due to a small pebble making me fall on the main road. Oh man this reminds me. A dealership I worked at has two man teams for the lube rack. Well I was a lube tech at the time. I was setting the lift on a full sized pickup when my teammate started raising the lift. My head got caught between the lift and the frame. Thankfully someone saw me and screamed at him to stop. I was seconds from getting my head popped like a tomato. I coughed. Dislocated my C1-C2 vertebrae and spent 6 months in a body halo. IDK how close to death that counts. But be careful when you cough. Edit, you're la fucking funny. And yes. I stopped farting after this incident. I coughed and got a spinal CSF leak spent about a year in constant. Unrelenting pain before I found a specialist who fixed me. I stuck my head in a random beaker to sniff something in chem lab. I have been very good about wafting since. One time I was making ghost pepper hot sauce, my first time doing it. And after blending everything I stuck my whole face into the blender to get a good smell. And almost passed out from the pepper gas attack that destroyed my face and lungs. I didn't look before I crossed the street. Walked backwards while talking to my friend got hit by a van. I wasn't wearing my medic alert bracelet to warn the paramedics and hospital that I'm allergic to demoral. Because it looks dumb and gets caught on my backpack. Besides what are the chances I'd ever be given that? The chances, it turns out, are pretty good if you get hit by a van going full speed hard enough to nearly rip your foot off at the ankle. I survived. Seven surgeries to patch me back up. Was comatose for a little bit. Had some blood transfusions. Massive amounts of physiotherapy. Look both ways and wear your medic alerts folks. I'm also deathly allergic to Demerol, immediate anaphylaxis, and it never even occurred to me to own a medical alert bracelet. I almost drowned in the sea as a kid. A current pushed me away from the shore. Lifeguards saved me and were slapping my face. I thought it was a punishment but they were resuscitating me. I'm sorry. You just made me giggle at the idea of lifeguards slapping people for stupid mistakes. Unplugging the washing machine with wet hands. My hand slipped onto the prongs while they were still partially in the outlet. And I think my heart stopped for a second before I yanked the plug free. Definitely do not recommend. Cut my inner ankle on a glass cup. For those who don't know, an artery is there and I literally sliced through it. Almost bled out. Thankfully didn't though. My horse cut that same artery while he was being shod. He had a nail sticking out of the side of his hoof, the farrier hadn't crimped it down, and he took one step sideways and cut the artery on the opposite leg. He almost bled out before I got it stopped about 10 minutes later. Huge amounts of blood gushing everywhere. And I'm holding on to the foot of a 1000 pound animal that's getting wobbly, and that I love dearly. It was really terrifying. Waited too long to go to the hospital, pre-covid, I thought I just had a cold. Husband said. Go to the doctor. I said no. Three days later. Still not great. 
Husband said. Go to urgent care. I said I will if I don't feel better tomorrow. Next day. I tell husband. I need to go to the air. A collapsed lung due to pneumonia. Three days in hospital plus breathing issues for the next year. Moral. Listen to your spouse. And yet. Got a whole lot of I told you SOS. Deserved every one of them. That was me last year. Pre-COVID. I wasn't listening to my body. Double lung pneumonia. A doctor said two more days and maybe bad road. Hospital stay. Lots of antibiotics. Took me nine months to get my lungs back in order. Bummer. I was at Lake Bled in Slovenia and thought I could easily swim the distance between the shore and the island in the middle with the church on it. Boy was I wrong. About halfway I started getting exhausted and had trouble staying afloat. Then my body kicked into survival mode. The adrenaline started pumping. And I Michael Phelps the rest of the way to the island. I ended up paying 5 euros to have a boat take me back to shore after that harrowing experience. Holy fuck same thing happened to me I got a cramp halfway and honestly thought this was my way out. Luckily I saw some people from my hostel in those boats and I jumped in. Fuck just awoke in a suppressed memory. When I was a kid. I dipped my toes into a flooded creek to see how it felt. Proceeded to get sucked into said creek and nearly washed away. Thankfully. The creek had some overgrown areas. And I was able to cling to a tree in the middle of the flood water and scream for help. This happened directly behind my house. So my dog heard me. Alerted my dad. And my dad managed to rescue me. What makes this extra stupid was that I was trying to prevent my friend at the time from doing the same thing. He wanted to surf down the creek on a snow sled. I was following him. Telling him it was a bad idea. And then like a dumbass. I ended up in the creek instead. He also gave me shit afterwards for ruining his stunt. Kids are fucking stupid. I guess. Oh wow what a good dog. Had had experience snowboarding and went with some friends up a black diamond run. I was scared to fall so I would squat so I would have less distance to fall. The person reading this laughing so far knows this makes you go faster. So in a hoe. I took a tumble worse than Scarlet while going full speed and felt lightness except my hand caught what I thought was a branch. When the snow cleared my hand was wrapped up in a red safety net and I was hanging about four stories off the mountain. That was the most committed pull up of my life. Great times. Choked on a small potato at the Pizza Hut salad bar. Completely lodged in my throat. I raced to the loo and shoved my fingers down my throat. And it popped out. Walked back to my table and finished my salad. Edit, I was with my boyfriend. He did nothing. I grabbed the waitress's arm. All she did was say is she okay? To my boyfriend. Hence running to the loo to deal with it myself. People running to the bathroom or an uninhabited area when they are choking is surprisingly common and increases your risk of dying extraordinary. You are very very lucky that you were able to get it out yourself. I was riding my bike to either the school or the supermarket. I can't remember. I was maybe like 12 stroke 13 years old. In my town you can't really ride a bike on the street. So I had to use the sidewalk. On my way I had to ride across a bus stop with a ton of people just blocking the way for me and my bike. So I decided to hop onto the street. And up onto the sidewalk again later. Those people were blocking my view. So I didn't see a bus coming my way. I just barely hopped onto the sidewalk and the bus missed me by a few centimeters. After that. I didn't really understand what happened. A few hours later it hit me that this could have ended rather bad for me. A few hours later it hit me. Thought this story had a very different ending for a second there. Taking a part to dry completely to clean it out and get it running smoothly again. Dropped a screwdriver onto an exposed wire. Huge arc and zap sound. I had left it plugged in. Up until I realized the incredibly smooth brained move I had pulled. In a similar vein. I was helping my aunt with her dryer because the motor wouldn't start. I had the access panel pulled from the base of the machine and I'm flat on my stomach on the damp concrete basement floor. Before I reach in to unhook some terminals I ask my aunt is it unplugged? Yep. 60 HZ muscle spasms carry me a few inches across the floor while flashes of light in my vision accompany a ringing in my ears I'll never forget. When I regain my senses and my composure. I ask her are you sure it's unplugged? Oh. Wait. Fuck. Never again will I trust someone else's lockout. Damn I forgot to tell my story. 
I got one of those connector legus with the hole in it stuck in my throat and every breath and noise I made was just a slight whistle. I was like five so I had no clue what to do and I finger fucked my throat to get it out. Whoa. I was at a Pink Floyd concert at the old Tampa Stadium. Was going to get a bear. I got crushed against a wall. At the bottom of a stairway. When a rush of people came up the breezeway. I couldn't move. Or breathe. Probably 100 or more people in a log jam. I'm not a big person. Started to panic. Looked up and a guy looked over the rail above me. He started yelling to me to reach for his hand. He leaned way over and grabbed my hand and pulled me up. Like 8 or 9 feet. And over the rail. Took a few minutes to get a breath he had the security guy get the medic to check me over. Freaky close to a very bad ending. One of my mom's friend's daughter died like that in a concert. My mom wouldn't let me attend one before I was 18. I still went to a couple. But that accident was always in the back of my mind. Crazy.